Hey guys, it's me. We're gonna be using today uh, while you're out and about the what I call the anklet bands, okay? So it's a simple band. You should have packed it with you and take it with you easily. So the first thing we're gonna do is kind of warm up a little bit, loosen up the shoulders and the neck a little bit, and then we're gonna work the upper body and work your lower body, okay? So make sure um, we're gonna repeat this two times at your own pace at home or on the road where you are. I'm gonna do it today only for 10 seconds, so set up your iPhone or a timer if you have, and I'm gonna do it just for 10 seconds so you guys can get the gist of it, okay? But on your own, do it for 30 seconds and repeat it once again, okay? The whole thing should take you no more than 10 minutes, okay? The key is to do it a little bit every day and it should get easier that way in a few weeks, it'll be a piece of cake, okay? So grab your uh, anklets in your hands, 10 seconds, we're gonna close it behind you and just start with shoulder circles, so hang on to it tight and then just do your circles, just like that. And you hear my timer and you should be actually able to listen to yours. We're just gonna do 10 seconds, so there's my timer. From there, we're gonna go back like this every time we get your feet out and then everybody comes back in so we're gonna go into like a little closed jack where you're just gonna move some blood kind of get the body warmed up a little bit and just 10 seconds again easy 10 seconds in and in out and your band is going behind your back like that see that feet out and in okay 10 seconds that's all we're gonna do however remember you're gonna do it for 30 seconds when you're with this on the road or at home okay easy comfortable seconds from there, we're just gonna keep moving your knees and your hips a little bit. So we're gonna place the little anklet on your feet, right there by your feet, and you're just gonna step over it. You can take it easy like this, or you're gonna go back and forth, or you can pick it up if you need to get your pulse rate up or warmed up a little bit more. And the key is to make it quiet, okay? To get the knees, ankles, and hips moving, just like that, back and forth. See, that was 10 seconds for me. You're gonna be doing it for 30 seconds. Okay, the next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna create what I call a circle run where you're gonna start behind your band and it's just a visual cue to make sure you're moving your feet, okay? So you're gonna go circle around the band. Once you get back to the starting point, go the other way around, okay? So it's here to here, okay? Just like that. So as you can see, what we're gonna do is gonna step inside the anklet like that. And then we're going to start with the leg work. So velcro it in. And the first thing to do is to go into a little marches. Again, set your timer and ready and go. So just timer. You're going to warm up the hips a little bit. Just really go at a comfortable pace where you can really pop the knees forward. Just like that. And from there, we're going to take it where you're going to toe tap, just the toe back. Same leg. While this leg is moving, this knee's a little bit bending. You wanna feel the inside of this knee, the butt cheek, and the back of this leg. At your own pace, okay? 30 seconds per leg. Again, should not, the whole thing should not take you more than 10 minutes. But it's the consistency and the ease that's gonna come along as you do it, okay? Now from there, what we're gonna do, we're gonna switch to the other leg, there's a timer. We're going to go to the other foot, so just the toes and then back. You just go from tighter to tight, tight to tighter. So there's no slack at all when you do this. Just a little bit. Perfect. Now, make it pretty tight because all you're going to do now is a squat. You want to fill the hips and inside the knee. Okay, so we're going to go into a squat down and then up. Down and then up. Nose up, chest high. Okay, so from the side view, it looks like this. We're gonna go this way and then up. Okay, comfortable. Again, 30 seconds on that. From there, we're gonna go into the back of the legs and we're gonna go what I call the butt kickers or hamstring curls. You're gonna feel the back of the legs back and forth like this. Comfortable. Heel towards the buttocks at your own pace. High enough that you feel the, low, the back of the leg. If you feel the low back, then you're doing this, throwing with your back, and you just want to use the legs, okay? Now, the next one, we're going to go back to the legs, set it up where you feel the toes, and all you're going to do is south. You want to feel the stretch and work. So we're going south like that. If you need more, 
This leg can go further out. So you go stretch it out further like that. Then you go south and then up. Okay? Knees down, knees up. Now notice how mine is riding up a little bit on my leg. So that means that it's too loose at the, at the Velcro where the Velcro attachment is. So it's making it a little tighter and it should prevent it from going up. Some people like to put a little extra padded towel just to, for comfort, but, so feel free to do it. Now, that's the leg portion. Now we're gonna go on to the upper body portion. So you guys will Velcro these guys, step out of it like a pair of pants, grab it in hands like this, and then your thumbs are up like that. You got it? So now we're gonna pull back below the chest, maybe chest level at the highest, and you're gonna pinch your shoulder blades back. You wanna feel the muscles across the upper back working, okay? So there's my timer. Again, 10 seconds, just what I'm doing today for demonstration, but you are doing 30 seconds. I'm gonna repeat it twice. If you feel the upper neck, upper shoulder, you're too high, so lower it a little bit, okay? Now, here's the doozy one, the bow and arrow. Just set it up like you're gonna shoot an arrow, hold this arm steady, this guy pulls back towards the armpit, maybe the chest if you have it, okay? You wanna feel it from back here all the way along the side, okay? So, stabilize through that guy, timer, right? So pull back, just like that. Again, all through here, if you feel it here, your elbow is too high, so you gotta lower it down, just like it's shooting a bow and arrow. Okay, you're gonna do that on both sides. Two arms, right? So, bow and arrow. Maybe the armpit, by the time you feel it on the back of this arm and underneath, that's good range. If you have it, if you need more, just go further. But the arm is steady, so it's not pumping on this one. Just this one is moving, okay? Now, the last one is this way, underhand grip, overhand grip, on your thigh, and you're going right towards the chest, okay? So now you're working just the arm, no shoulder, no collarbone, just the belly of the arm, okay? So let's try it for 10 seconds. Hold it steady, bring it in, and then out. Nice and steady. Just arm, remember, no neck. We just gave the legs a break, so they should be getting recovered. Okay, now try the other one. Here we go. And this is the other arm. 30 seconds per arm, okay? Should give you a nice, warm, fuzzy feeling on your biceps, on the arm muscles, okay? Now, the next section, the next video you'll see is the stretching that goes with it. Those you should see, you should be able to do it every day, anywhere you are, okay? Hopefully, this will be easier in a week, maybe two, and we're ready for an upgrade, okay? Till next time, I'll see you guys then. Anklets, with you.